Hey everyone, in this video we're going to use SketchUp for Schools to make a Lego brick, uh, like a 4x2 Lego brick, the, the common one, the normal one. So I'm going to go into SketchUp for Schools app here. Um, this should be located in your search. Uh, we're not using the one that's found on the AWS. There's no need to go through that. Um, so you should be able to find this in the Chromebook. Reminder, it's, a, it's the third uh, key up on the left-hand side. It's a search key. And this type in S-K-E-T, uh, that should be enough. And you should be able to find it right there. Click on it. Open it up. It might have you log in to your, uh, to your Google account. I haven't been here for a while. You can tell it's taking a little bit to get in. So um, just take your time. Right now, we're about 45 seconds in just to get me into the main screen. Um, Whatever you've done here in the past, you may see recent files if it's been relatively recent. Uh, don't be alarmed if you haven't been here for a few weeks and then all of a sudden you come in and you don't see anything here. Uh, it's all going to be found underneath your Google Drive. All right. So if you ever want to go back into that and look in the folder where it's at, that's where it's going to be. Um, what I'm going to do here right now is I'm going to get started by hitting a Create New and I'm going to go into Millimeters. Once I get into my piece here, I can select the model and delete here or use the eraser tool to erase the person out that gives perspective of kind of how big and small things are. Um, but what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go uh, to the top view. I like to, I don't know, when I start building, uh, just kind of look at one perspective. So uh, over here in my views, I think we talked about this in the last video, you should got to kind of know what these are. Um, I want to go over here and I want to go to the middle one, which is the top view, all right? I want them in the top view. If I'm, my perspective is on and I'm not in parallel projection, I will see a blue line right here. That's the Z-axis. Um, I'm gonna turn perspective off right now by, by selecting parallel projection. And after I select parallel projection, what I'm looking at right now is the green axis and the red axis here. All right. Now, one last thing I want to do is just make something in here so it saves. Um, we can save stuff and name it right now, but we're going to make a rectangle just real quick uh, for a base. Um, we're going to click and we're going to drag to the upper right hand corner. I clicked on the origin. I always like to use the, the origin in the beginning. I drop it by clicking again and I type in the data now. So I'm going to go 32. I can type in millimeters if I wanted to, but I don't need to. Comma 16. All right. When I hit enter here. I should now have a 32 by 16 square. Um, I made this before, so I think my or my perspective right there, I was pretty close to it, the same size. Uh, mine didn't end up being too small or too large. So every once in a while after you do that, you may end up finding yourself way out that, oh, that rectangle I made compared to the one I started with got really small. So you may have to find it by going to your origin and then zooming in. Remember the zoom in and zoom out is the scroll wheel on your cursor there, or on your um, mouse there, uh, and that just helps you get there. Oh, if you have a trackpad, it's a two-finger drag up and down that allows you to zoom in and zoom out too. I do know that feature of the trackpad. Um, now that we have that, last thing I wanna do here is I wanna name this. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna, type, I'm gonna call this block. You can call it Lego block if you wanted to, it doesn't matter to me, and I'm gonna hit okay. When I hit okay, usually it walks me through the process of where you're gonna save next. Oh. And it didn't for me, but you want to make sure that you go to your uh, folder that you had made in this quarter folder uh, to save your SketchUp stuff. All right, wherever you said your last things. I uh, hope this video helps get you started, and uh, good luck. Have a good day.